All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Tyron Woodley and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effective. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Strikers versus strong-rounded fighters. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he would... Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's attack armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Unable to land with that punch. Blocks the shot. Another punch land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight right, he misses. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Slips the punch. Straight punch land. They continue to exchange. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Tyron Woodley. There's no give on that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. And that one certainly found the target. Takedown defense holds up. Straight right hand, no good. Nice. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. 
Game Bread gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so we'll power time now. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Big power shot there. Elbow now blocked by Wooden. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, Superman punch is good. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. It's the right hook to the body. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Now connects with a right. Lifts on the straight right hand. Good punch, Land. Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, it's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was a... Oh! Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Gabriel. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch land over the top. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. Jab. Right hand on point. Beautiful body kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Big leg kick land. Nice straight punch. Straight right hand now just misses. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong move. Oh! Liver kick! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now Masvidal's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 
All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, wow, oh! You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And this might just be a matter of time. the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish.